Uh, my name is DJ MK, I'm from London. I uh, started DJing when I was about 14. Uh, I started making mixtapes because I was too young to DJ in clubs. Those tapes started to uh, sell in all of the record shops in London, then in all of the record shops in the UK, then in all of the record shops in Europe. Then uh, some DJs on Radio 1 started playing those tapes, then I started to do guest mixes for those shows, and I started to open up my own club nights, uh, and then I started DJing uh, for artists, uh, then I started doing radio on KISS FM, uh, then I was doing production, and it's kind of been that whirl, whirlwind since for the last 20 years. Well, growing up in London, you're surrounded by loads of different music. So when I was a kid growing up, I grew up in an area of Northwest London. So it was the most ethnically diverse area in the UK. So we had like 166 different languages in the community that I, brought up, well, I was brought up in. So lots of reggae, basically every type of music. So my style as a DJ uh, is, I never just wanted to just play music. I wanted to learn everything, so I'm kind of a turntablist, you know, cut, scratch. I wanted to master everything, so that's how I kind of adapt to different club sets. So if you want me to show skills all night, I can do that. If you want me to just have a great selection of music, I can do that. Yeah, I consider myself quite versatile. Uh, I bought a mixture of different tunes so like I bought like classic hip-hop 90s a few 80s I bought some uh, like classic British soul and funk uh, just just good music that I, I, I like to play uh, this is one of them so uh, this is Bozo Mecca three different tracks this is called spread love this came out in about 1990, I think, and this is produced by a guy called Mark the 45 King. And then we got another one of my favorites. This is uh, Soho, Hot Music. So this came out in 1990. This is like a kind of, it's produced by a guy called Pal Joey. This is like sort of house hip hop uh, kind of tune, real party record, a record that's kind of timeless that I've continuously played literally since I was a kid. What else we got? What else? This is my latest release. This is on my record label called Marco Records. This came out a couple of months ago, so I wanted to, to play it and try it out in sunny Dubai. Uh, I just got into to, to, to particularly hip hop just from, just from growing up as a kid. It was all around me. You know, uh, whether it be it being played from, I don't know, uh, boom boxes or from people's cars or seeing graffiti on the street. I'm like, what's all this? Oh, it's hip hop. And then production, production is something, something I always loved. And yeah, I'd have a friend who might have like a MPC when I was a little kid and then I'd have a little go on that. And then obviously computers, you know, getting logic and stuff like that and just learning how to do production. I think it's a natural step for a DJ, particularly a hip hop DJ, to, to do production because once you really get into hip hop, you learn that these are, a lot of these records are samples. So then you're like, okay, well, what's the sample? And then you find the sample and then you're like, how did they make this? And then you learn and then that's it. You can't ask me that question. Come on, man. <laughs> That's, that's, I can't, I mean, I'd say off the top of my head, Nazilmatic, I know everyone says that, but for me, I love that album. So I'm gonna go for that, Nazilmatic. I, you know what, that's a really good question. A really good question. What does my music smell like? I think it depends on what I'm playing. Uh, but I'll just say my music smells like roses. Yeah. Sweet roses. Oh, cream cash rolls everything around me. <laughs> the godfather of hip hop. Yeah. 
Uh, the God, well, some people regard Africa Baba as the godfather of hip-hop, but the real godfather of hip-hop is uh, Kool Herc. Uh, that'd be Biggie and uh, Tupac, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah boy! Yeah, boy! Aye, Flavor Flav, Public Enemy. Yeah, boy! Yeah, boy! <laughs> That's what? Ah, oh, maybe Joe Blige. Big boy in under 3,000. That's awesome. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, that was great. Thank you, guys. No worries. Thanks so much. Wicked. Good. I think we Pleasure. Got My man. Yeah. Cool, man. That was fun. Can't wait. Yeah. Can't wait.